how, like whether you're in your elements, whether you're uh, ready for the test. So, um, so to like to take the test repeatedly um, now, like I, I started, you know, I when I start feeling that I, I that that band nine was closed, that, that that's when I felt. Um, uh, that I, I should be taking the test more frequently because I knew that it was just a matter of luck. It was just a, it's just like you just have to have a very lucky day to get a nine. So my advice to, you know, future niners, let's say, right? Take more IELTS <laughs> with IDP IELTS. <laughs> Not to take it more, but um, here, here's, here are the two approaches that I took. Like in the year 2022, I was taking it back to back without really practicing a lot. In 2023, I start taking some breaks, like because you live in Bukhara and, and, and you don't really get to have many CDI tests in Bukhara, right? It's only like what once, two, once a month or one, twice a month, right? right. So yeah. it's, you, you're kind of lucky in that way because you don't have that urge, right? But living in Tashkent, you know, having that availability of you know you could take the test at, at any day you want. It's just there is this uh, urge of, you know, retaking the test when these things don't go your way. Like you come out of the test like, oh, man, I had this awful writing question or I had this awful speaking test. Let me just register for another day. I could do it. Like I, right. So and then something else goes wrong. You're listening or you're in your, in your case, you're reading. Right. So but and that was my strategy in 2022. But in 2023, I changed that slightly. I start taking breaks between tests. Like I would take just one test, have some practice, reflect, like after getting my result, reflect on that result.